What am I going to do? Just some characters and different things. I won't take a lot of your time. <laughs> okay, so this is uh, like an audio uh, it's, gonna ha it's gonna be along that line, I'm not, I'm not sure. Okay. Hello, my name is Philip Hartman, and I'd like to introduce you to some of my characters. Mr. Music, this is my favorite character. His name is Chick Hazard. He's a hard-boiled private investigator. It was midnight when it happened. I was parked in front of Four Fingers of Bourbon at the Swanee Club on La Brea Avenue. Most ex-flyboys were making babies and buying refrigerators. But in the aftermath of my POW experience, I'd rekindled a relationship with two old pals, Jack Daniels and Jim Beam. My life was rapidly going down the porcelain convenience. I could barely afford cigarettes, whiskey, and food. Looked like the food was gonna have to go. I had two things in common with the colored patrons of the Swanee Club. We all loved Nat King Cole. And we were all fed up with white people. On that particular night, I was dancing cheek to cheek with a tabletop. I lifted my head, and she walked in. I was a sucker for long legs. I wanted to shinny up one of hers like a native boy looking for coconuts. <laughs> she was the kind of blue-eyed blonde that Hitler based his racial theories upon. Statuesque, like Lady Liberty. But I figured I'd be the one left holding the torch. <laughs> it's the latest development in the world of self-defense, the stun gun from Radco. Don't put mace in someone's face. No need for messing with the Smith & Wesson. Why? Because stun gun has three audio dynamic laser frequencies to meet every personal protection need. Frequency one is the repellent mode. <laughs> Perfect for stray dogs or annoying solicitors, even keeps the most relentless Jehovah's Witness at bay. But that's not all, because frequency two is the stun mode. Instantly freezes any intruder in his tracks till authorities arrive. Once paralyzed, the victim can be searched, disarmed, even humiliated at whim. Yes, you haven't lived until you pants the catatonic cat burglar. But wait, there's more, because frequency three is the fun mode. This frequency has supersonic libido amplification power, turns any target into a mindless, writhing sex machine. Look at Bernie Brillstein go! The perfect icebreaker, the life of any party, turns that first date into a real night to remember. The stun gun from Radco stun gun. It's the fun gun. <laughs> do you like impressions? I know you do. <laughs> Let me introduce my favorite impressionist, the funniest man in Germany, Gunter Johann. Thank you, and good afternoon and welcome. My name is Gunther Johan. We see yourself on a fantastic impression of Jack Benny. Fantastic American comic. Jack Benny. Now, Rochester, I will not be able to come. Thank you. Thank you. We see yourself on a fantastic he says, Herr Macho, the top banana with the film Flying Tigers. Look out of his way. Here he is coming. John Wayne, look out. <laughs> well, still leaving, Pappy. The flunk in their depth perception examiner. The will nicked Waffen mit their Flying Tigers. Danke. Susan, uh, meine favorite dish, Jack Nicholson und Chinatown. Jack Nicholson. <clears throat> and Schildigan, see Frau Mulray. Wo bist du intercoursen mit du Vater? Der will nicht deine pregnancy mit du sister haben. Danke. <laughs> Marijuana abuse among the elderly is rising drastically. Ironically, many youngsters are finding they can be put into a mindless stupor simply by trying to read. My favorite recent monologue is another Jack Nicholson piece. <laughs> I'm nutty for this guy. It's uh, Shakespeare's immortal classic, Hamlet, updated and modernized for the contemporary audience. 
I'll pick it up midstream. <clears throat> Curse, I didn't snap completely till last night. Check this out. Bernardo, Marcellus, and Horatio come to me and they say, Hammy, sit down. Your dad's been making nightly post-mortem appearances in the West Wing. I says, Bernie, fellas, you're jacking me around. They say, no. No, it's a real mind-blowing act, though a trifle on the ghastly side. Come see for yourself. So along comes midnight and along comes dad. And he's looking real tired in a dead sort of way. Yeah. And he's talking about mom and he's talking about hell. And I'm f***ing galvanized with terror. Because I'm no Jack Armstrong when it comes to confabs with a walking dead. So then he drops the big one. About how he wasn't bitten by a snake while sleeping in the garden. But rather it seems that good old Uncle Claudius has dispatched him to the great beyond with a f***ing poison ear enema. Think about it, he says. If you need me, I'll be in purgatory. So I'm thinking about it. And tonight's the night I put old Uncle Claude to the test. And frankly, if he doesn't pass muster, he's history. I'll kick his ass so far up into his brain case, he'll have to take off his hat to shine his f***ing shoes. <laughs> of course, I wouldn't say the word f*** on the air. I wouldn't want to be the next Charlie Rocket. Would you? <laughs> I, oh. I'd like to now read a few things off this note card. These are a few of the things I'd like to do on Saturday Night Live. I'd like to do Playhouse 90. 90 second dramas that are very intense. Uh, like, uh, Johnny, Johnny, the cops are here! Shut up, shut up, will you? I'm trying to think! That kind of thing. <laughs> I'd like to do... Oh, I'd like to bring back You Are There, or some permutation of that great show where uh, a, a narrator goes to great moments in history and uh, talks to people. Maybe you could call it Here We Are Now. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous. Somebody has to lampoon this show with the most obnoxious human being alive, that screaming, you know, guy who screams, this uh, Robin Leach, like, let's go there now. Here we are in the fantastic home of Lorne Michaels and Amagansett. Get rid of that guy. Uh, there are a few people I'd like to impersonate. Peter Graves. You like gladiator movies, Jimmy? Uh, William Shatner. Space. The Last Frontier. Uh, and I'd like to do an acting class with uh, Charlton Heston, wherein he... Uh, teaches people how to say his favorite line. Oh, my God. And, uh, that's about it. I can also do any dialect. Go ahead, call out a dialect. <laughs> I don't do that. No, uh... Je conseille votre sir. Hello, I am Philippe Altman, world famous skier. And this is my friend, Jorge, from uh, Greece. It's great to be here. Hey, dance, everybody. <laughs> oh, and I do pirate voices and um, just about anything. <laughs> Cut tape. Cut tape. Get that camera off me. So uh, that's about it. Oh. All right, Bilko. Where's Doberman? Yes, sir, yes, sir. He's going to be here any second, sir. There is. Uh, yep, 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 Bilko. <laughs> sir. Sir, I'm sorry. It's a very nice suit you have. Now, I was thinking of changing the uniforms or something like this. I thought it looked much more appropriate. Don't you think so, sir? Now, listen, Bilko. I've had it with your burlap uniforms. Go get into that official Cotton Army 12. Sir, yes, sir. Right away, sir. Uh, thank you. Hey, you. <laughs> Anthony Marlboro, A.M., the former Tony Babo, heir to a bathroom cleanser fortune. He fancied himself the master thespian, the actor's actor. His performance has had more filigree than a gothic cathedral. Ah, oh, Marlboro. Ah, Mr. Hazard. The great honor to meet you. How are you? Um, I go, what else can we do? <laughs> oh, I know. Uh, uh, oh, the uh, 46. Oh, yeah. <coughs> Um. Hello, Harry. Let us see you. Listen, I've got some news for you. Your contract isn't being renewed. The studio's letting you go. Level with me. If, if, if you're unhappy with my work, tell me now. All right. Everyone says you're the worst actor in town. Don't leave me hanging by a thread. If you're unhappy with my performance, just give it to me straight. All right, you're through. Do you hear me through? You'll never work in this town again. Your life is finished. What's the word on the street? <laughs> I, 
you. Well, there's a pot. Actually, there's a pot coming up, a Japanese movie. Godzilla. I'll take it. it. All right, good. What do I have to do? Well, they need some people to be squished between his toes. Think you can handle it? Listen, Harry. When we made Nose Dive, I was the number one B movie actor in Hollywood. And now you're going to have me crushed by a giant lizard? Come on, Harry! I tell you, through. Get out! Get out! Next. <laughs> <laughs>